Yeah, Tom, and that is why I'm gonna get rich off of quantum. Oh, you did <laughs> I put、quantum? like a million dollars into one、oh, stock. Oh my god! Yeah, D-Wave. You have ever heard of it? Yes, I've heard. Yeah, of it. yeah. I'm gonna get rich. You said what? It's tanking, bro. You said like fifty percent. It's hold、tanking. on. I'll call you back. Wait, call- no, but it's. Tw- I'll call you back, Tom. <laughs> Jensen, whoa! Okay, we gotta talk because wow, did quantum computing just catch a stray? And we're gonna figure out exactly was Jensen Wong wrong or was he actually right? And we're gonna actually meet Kevin. No, I'm not talking about actually meeting a Kevin. We're gonna be checking out his channel as he actually has some credible things to say when it comes down to quantum computing. On top of that, we're gonna see a huge rebuttal from D Wave. All that packed into this video. But before we do, K Pasa Familia de Dinero. I'm your host. Out, you're a truck driver on the detour tour as well, and I hope that you join us on the journey. And I want to say a huge shout out to everybody that is subscribing. We're on that mission to one zero 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 before January 31st. On top of that, if you're new to the channel, I ask nothing from you not to like, not to comment, not to subscribe. Rather, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video and get the information that you need. Now, I definitely want to say shout out to Matt in the Amoir, which is the Discord completely free. There is a paid side of it on Patreon. We'll talk about that later. But shout out to him to bring this information to the Discord as well as Sir Terminator. With that being said, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a comparison. Now, Jensen Wong said we're about 15 to 30 years off from quantum computing being accessible within the you know commercialized household. But let's go ahead and take a look at this article.、First. We have this article coming from Investors Business Daily. Quantum computing stocks dive after Nvidia CEO says tech is 15 to 30 years away. Quantum computing stocks IonQ, which fell, I think, about 50% within one day, Regetti Computing and D-Wave and Quantum Computing plunge Wednesday after Nvidia CEO Jensen Wong said that the technology won't be very useful for 15 to 30 years. Are you kidding? Oh my good Jensen Wong. So let's go ahead and take a look at. A comparison. Okay, so my brother JT Traveler here on YouTube actually covered this before on his channel, and on the left is 2023, the version of AI that was generated with a you know a script that you typed out, and then on the right you have a astronaut looking guy with a yarn helmet that I wish was w- real. Um, I don't know what he is. Let me know. I, and, and is Will Smith eating spaghetti or ramen? Let me know. So we're gonna take a look at the progression that happened in 2023 to 2024. Let's check it out. Okay, so Will Smith is gobbling that up. You have somebody in the background walking. You have a guy sitting on a cloud, and his he, they got the hair right. But over there, Will Smith is looking like an absolute monster. And look at that bird. Now I'm not too sure if that bird is 100% real, but if so. Look how detailed in a span of ten months this was the difference. Let's go ahead and see what Meet Kevin has to say. Okay, so Meet Kevin, I believe, is actually a financial analyst.、Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know.、Um, but he comes out with a news type release of everything recap within the financial and the economic world. Shout out to him. He actually touched upon it quite heavily in his video. Not so much as the other subjects, but we're gonna start here. Let's check it out. So, notice how quantum computing via the Willow chip got you something that was, you know, one two hundred thousandth as good as what you really need to do what the magic of quantum computers can do, and it was a research milestone in gate-based computing, and the actual stocks that were just going up are annealed-based quantum computing optimization companies. Okay, so that that is the key component there. You have Google who has a mass amount of resources in order to do the job that they need and make true big breakthroughs when it comes down to breaking down other things within the internet in milliseconds or less than a millisecond. And he and I, I I'm gonna link this video down. I highly advise if you're a individual who's investing in quantum in its future, check this video out. 
On top of that, you have kind of a, a weird circumstance where anything with quantum or quantum based companies started moving. And that is why I was very specific on the ones that I talked about. Now, I am going to say that I am very surprised in the movement that we seen over this time. I did not see this movement come overnight. I mean, realistically, it came over months, but it was just moving over 100, 200% in some areas. Let's go ahead and keep going. This is why NVIDIA says we're 15 to 30 years away. Fun note though, NVIDIA is hiring quantum engineers. Okay, so that is something where you're like, oh, okay, there's a little bit of competition. Some of these companies are miles ahead in sectors. And I talked about Rigetti and their healthcare division as to why I like stocks and companies that number one, you have to look at their financials. This is something that me, Kevin, it breaks down. Again, he's a professional in this. But again, I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I a crystal ball, nor have I claimed to be. And this is why it is very important as an everyday investor. If you're doing 100 to 1,000 shares of a company, it is smart to know their fundamentals. He'll go over it. Let's, let's dive into D-Wave. But take a look at uh, some of, or the Willow Chip announcement, I should say, some of their financials. They lost $44.6 million in free cash flow in 24, $46 million in 2023. Their revenue in the three months ending in uh, September, so Q3, uh, was down 27% from last year. In fairness, their revenue year over year was up slightly from last year. So if you guys want the full thing, it'll be on his channel, but it is something to be said when it comes down to D-Wave Quantum. They are going to have to raise money because I think he mentioned that they only have a year and a half. I correct me if I'm wrong, of actually cash on hand to last. Um, they're going to raise, they're going to have to raise some type of revenue in order to exist for this period that Jensen Wong had said. But let's go ahead and read some opposition when it comes down to this news. Okay, so we actually have the CNBC actually snapping back saying Jensen Wong is dead wrong about quantum computers, D-Wave CEO says. And I'm just gonna read the key points. Uh, I, I always say just because I summarize it for you to do your own research. But shares of D-Wave Quantum and its peers plunge Wednesday after NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang uh, suggested that quantum computers are decades away. D-Wave CEO Alan Barrett, and we covered him as well, uh, told CNBC that uh, Huang is dead wrong and that his company has big paying clients today. Now, just because you have big paying clients we also need a product and i'm not saying that we don't have a product but there is two different kinds of quantum as again go over to meet kevin see the breakdown i'm no expert okay huang predicts it will be 15 to 30 years before the technology is commercially available and 15 to 30 years is a very big margin when it comes down to it. is it 15 is it 30 is it 20 is it 25 let's before you just throw something crazy like that and tank a bunch of quantum stocks because of a stray let's break it down okay so we actually had the video of d-wave going on cnbc let's check it out bosa is joined by d-wave ceo alan barrett welcome to both of you deirdre this man said hey, hey you can't do that google indeed it's willow chip and just before we get to alan a little more context d-wave's market cap that stood at around 200 million dollars for most of last year shot up to nearly three billion dollars after that willow breakthrough Dang. spurred a surge in the sector it's now down nearly 40 percent on the session oh god alan, thank you so much for joining us and making the time tell us what exactly Jensen Huang, the leading authority on the future of computing, is getting wrong here. So, Deirdre, thanks for the opportunity to be here. I very much appreciate it. Um, I, I think that Jensen Huang is a very smart individual, and he's built an amazing company. Uh, and he may be the authority on many aspects of computing, but certainly not all aspects of computing, and certainly not quantum computing. In this case, he's dead wrong. And the reason Dang. he's wrong <laughs> is that we at D-Wave are commercial today. We have companies like MasterCard. That was not the point. I would say, again, I and I, I know some guys, uh, some people in the comments actually were like, no, they don't need customers. 
the the point was is that how can we commercialize and put the product in the individual not the company the individual which i did present and say about it especially with soundhound ai i think that's the one that i really hound and it's not quantum but typically these companies need a catalyst as to how can we put this in everyday products for example if i said that hey i have a pen right but this pen is only usable by companies right you have a product that's good for companies but on top of that i really should be marketing this pen for everybody that's where i can gain the most in the masses that's where nvidia does win they have the gaming sector they have almost a lot of technology spaces where everything is pretty much used by nvidia i'm not saying every everything okay but what i am saying is that quantum is far away not too far i don't think so too far but i say that quantum is in a space that it does need to develop a little bit more same with ai it needs to be more practical for example apple they are slowly rolling the ai capabilities in iphone warren the most capable individual to undertake this task I am genius. people didn't like that they were like, okay, this is kind of the same as chat GT GPT, chat GPT. So now, of course, I'm an investor in this. I brought it to the channel. I love quantum. I like what they're doing. But again, I am balanced and I need to know both sides. What is actually really quantum and what is not? And Rigetti, again, I like the subsection. I like the company. I like what they're doing. I like the information that they give out. I see their products and everything like that. But on top of that, they definitely do need to be able to mass market their technology, which I'm not saying they're not doing. I do believe that Jensen Wong does have a viable stance. Now, 15 to 30, I think that's a stretch. I think possibly five to 10 years, we could see a big breakthrough because of how tech based we are as a society and the direction that we're going. Let's go ahead and let him finish. I went on the tangent, my bad. Or NTT Docomo or Patterson Food Group or Ford Auto Sun that are using our quantum computers today in production to benefit their business operations. Not 30 years from now, not 20 years from now, not 15 years from now, but right now, today. Pretty much they're the type of quantum uh, capabilities that he's presenting is those that optimize and make it easier for processing systems to complete a task within whatever time frame that their their machinery actually allows it to um the thing is is the argument is saying that the quantum that everybody needs to break through things but pretty much the argument is saying that hey the quantum that you guys have, it is fast, but it's not Google fast. It's not what the Willow chip is doing, which me, Kevin, talks about. Moreover, we have been able to solve problems on our quantum computer in the area of materials simulation in minutes that it would take well over millions of years to solve on the fastest supercomputers, which, by the way, happen to be massively parallel GPU computers. Now, there's no denying that quantum capabilities would definitely speed up a lot of tasks comparable to the CPU. Um, but I, I'm, I'm actually going to do a deep dive into this and seeing exactly what is the science behind it all. Because, of course, I cover the stocks, but to know the future and, and is this a true viable one? I believe so. But then again, I would definitely now have to learn the science behind it. And I'm talking about really deep diving into it. What's the true definitions of these words that are being thrown around? It's easy to say, okay, quantum. But what do these companies do? That's why I present the videos the way I do. Because I want to know the company, see what's the catalyst, and what are the fundamentals? What is the finances looking like? That's why I made the videos about securing $100 million with Rigetti, uh, but let's keep going. You should think a little bit about that. We are solving those problems in minutes today, and it would take millions of years to solve them on massively parallel systems that he provides. And by the way, Alan. I'd be happy to meet with Jensen anytime, any place to help fill in these gaps for him. Hey, he's talking like a fight. I believe that Jensen Wong, I think that Alan Barrett, I think that meet Kevin all of them have viable points when it comes down to quantum computing. I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I a crystal ball. And 
I definitely mention in the armoire, and if you guys want my positions, uh, the challenge ten dollars to a thousand, um, it, that that's on Patreon. But the overall, the armoire, the Discord is free. I believe that quantum computing is a hundred percent the future. I think that Jensen Wong is a little concerned because the 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 steam towards NVIDIA has moved and shifted towards, uh, you know, this different space. And Google's breakthrough with the Willow chip is substantial. And this is the thing. If they could do it this year, they could do it next year. If you have a team of quantum companies that can be acquired in the future and they're working in subsections like healthcare, um, you have other locations that they're working at. It is definitely true that quantum has a future and that Jensen Wong has a little competition when it comes down to some of these things that are future based. And I think that it's a five to 10 year move, not a 15 to 30 year move um, to see true big breakthrough that we're like, OK, we're getting next level quantum 15 to 30 years. Yeah, we'll we'll make substantial amount of breakthroughs. We'll probably have, you know, chips that are able to do some crazy stuff within 10 years. The reason for that is because I believe we became a hyper focused technological based society. I mean, we do everything on our phones overseas. I mean, they do everything on their phones, not even using computers like that. So if we can make it so that processes are super quick, super fast, faster than the Snapdragon, faster than any kind of chip that we had, and it's quantum based, it makes sense in my mind. I don't think that Jensen Wong's timeline is actually true. I think that Again, him hiring quantum engineers is a telltale that mm, I'm a little worried. When it comes down to it, I believe that everybody has a point. Of course, you have to listen to all and do your own research. I have a good gut feeling that this right now is a dip moment for those that didn't get to go in. And of course, we have a huge catalyst with economic data that came out that stirred everything up. But to me is we saw a substantial run within quantum because of Google apparently. And I can't help but believe that it's possible for it to go again because of a breakthrough. And it's more than possible that now D D wave CEO, Alan Brett is actually now throwing his gloves in the ring. He said, you know what? You're not the only one that could come out here and wear a leather jacket and look cool. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think quantum is dead? Do you think it's just began? Or is this a war? Let me know. Thank you guys so much. Familia de dinero. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace and adios.